Welcome into the Nesson Digital Studios for another episode of The Feed. Courtney Cox here alongside Rachel Holtz. A lot of you on social media think we hate each other. We actually don't. We love each other. Don't ruin the surprise. <laughs> all right, well, we've got a lot to get to all over the world of sports, so Rachel is going to kick us off with the MLB. Why, thank you, Courtney. While we deal with the snow in Massachusetts, the Red Sox, they're down in sunny Fort Myers where spring training is underway. Mm. Big Poppy blessing us with this epic team selfie on Instagram. Yes. The team is taking time between games to pose for some picks, including the Flow Bros. Andrew Benintendi and Brock Holt helping each other get camera ready. How cute is this court? This is cute. I enjoy <laughs> that a lot. Uh, I like it. I mean, the bromance is alive and well. You never helped me get ready like that. You're right. And it probably will never happen. <laughs> um, but let's move along. The Diamondbacks are bringing back the bullpen cart. There it is. The last time a bullpen cart was used was 1995. I was four years old. Not going to say I'm younger than Rachel, but not going to say <laughs> I'm not. How, very kind of how you. do you feel about the bullpen cart? I love it. Ooh. Love, love, love. I wish we had one around the office because Ooh. back here at the studio, it's actually pretty far yeah. from everything else, including the snacks downstairs. So if I had a little cart, roll up, take me down, get some snacks. Love Sweet. the cheese and crackers down there. We get the same thing every single day, every day. you and I. That'd be awesome. I actually feel like we'd be even more obnoxious than we are right now, which is like hard to, to do. Um, but I am going with the cool guy emoji because I think it's pretty rad. <laughs> oh, please uh, never do that again. Oh. Okay. The NFL Combine had us focusing our attention on the future of the league this week. Every year, Rich Eisen, he runs a 40-yard dash to benefit St. Jude's Hospital. And this year, he got Roger Goodell to participate. Take a look. His form's actually better than I expected it to be, and he's in slacks and like dress shoes, so I actually give him credit. Okay. But then it's for Children's Hospital, so I also do this. But yeah, like, I don't think you can do that. I don't yes, you can. can. It's, it's house rules. Those are very conflicting emotions. I feel like this. I use this one a lot in text. I don't know what it means, but it's kind of flirty. It is a little flirty. <laughs> Not everyone gets this guy, but it kind of is winking a little bit, and ooh. it's like, ooh, did you actually run the forty? Because ooh. we don't really know. It was down the hallway. Yeah. So yeah, nice run. This year, Bill Belichick didn't run the forty that we know of, but he did generously donate to the cause supporting Eisen with a check for an undisclosed amount. And he's not the only Patriot giving back. How about this? Tom Brady shaving his head to support Dana Farber. Ooh. Of course he has to make a dad joke, captioning it. They call me Buzzy, Tom Buzzy. Yes. I liked it until the <laughs> caption. <laughs> I like it a lot. Uh, Pete is going to hate this. Good luck in your mentions. <laughs> uh, moving along, many coaches are dreaming about uh, drafting Saquon Barkley. A little bit Yikes. too much. <laughs> this guy uh, saying, I would punch myself in the nuts many, many, many times to be able to draft him. That would probably hurt a lot. But then also, there's been a lot of oversharing on social media. Uh, Richard Sherman's teammates alluding to the fact that uh, he is headed elsewhere. So, um, oversharing, how do you feel about that? I mean, you don't need to use an emoji, but just emotions. Should I do hand gestures? Yeah, sure. I don't like it. I do not like that. Because Richard Sherman wasn't the one that told us, it was his yeah. teammates. Do you think that he like, texted them immediately being like, dude, why'd you do that? Probably, yeah, probably. Well, Court, how about this? Companies are now allowed to advertise on NBA jerseys. This one is very interesting. Bumble advertising on Clippers jerseys. Hmm. They're calling it an empowerment badge. The team, this actually represents diversity and gender equality. But how do we feel about this? I'm giving the little smirking face Ooh. because <laughs> I'm not opposed to dating apps. I actually find them helpful, and I bet the Clippers do too. I'm giving this uh, because in that same token, I think this might help them a little bit <laughs> too much. I don't think they need any help when they're out in LA. You're finding right. Girls. You are right. And I think all the wives and girlfriends are going, uh, excuse me, you're putting my but boyfriend all, and husband's face. You are a girlfriend, I'm a player. <laughs> Yikes. How about thanking your own teammate? Uh, Patrice Bergeron. Uh, you don't thank me enough, by the way. Okay, relax. Uh, he definitely couldn't skate on the ice with a fractured foot, but Brandon Carlo helping him get to the team photo. Aww. Keeping with the NHL, the guy who brings the Stanley Cup everywhere, he tweeted this photo of a happy couple on their wedding day uh, with a Stanley Cup inspired cake. 
And when I heard about this, I was like, oh, it's gonna be hideous. It is actually really pretty. I felt the same. Actually, I wonder if Tim Schaller and Ali Raisman will have that at their wedding. Oh, they're, they're already getting dating. married. Courtney loves this I stuff. I love this they stuff. They were just pictured, I think, for the first time a couple yeah, months ago, Yeah, and right? I found it trolling social media, but maybe they'll have it at that with like gold medals coming out. Ooh, 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 that'd be nice. Uh, Serena Williams, hey, how about this? She makes a return to competitive tennis after giving birth to her baby girl, and what better day to highlight Serena than International Women's Day. Yeah! Hey, we love you, Serena. You're looking good. We're rooting you on. She's looking Go for great. It. Okay, well, that wraps up this show. I'm sure we're all no, very... No, no. Special from Courtney Cox. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah! Boston College Eagles in the quarterfinals. Head into the arena, Barclays Center. Good. All right, yeah. I'll root for BC. I'll do it. Thank you. We love Boston good here. Friend. Yes. We did it. That does it for today's show, and I think we're done now, right? We will never be asked to do this again, yeah, ever again. Yeah, this is the again. last time you will see us hosting together. Goodbye. Maybe even on SN.com. <laughs> <laughs>